Good morning guys. Well listen, I am here to wash my lovely white standard poodle. She's bogging and she stinks and she needs a good bath and I have nothing else to do on a Sunday so I decided I would wash her and do a little video for the website and I would like you all to meet Georgia. Two seconds. Georgia. Now this is Georgia. Say hi Georgia. Hi. Georgia is covered in muck and we were up the fields and I think she's rolled herself in fox poo but we're going to fix that now so hopefully we can get it out. Now the reason for the behind this video is because it's the winter and we all have, we're all out walking with dogs. Anybody in the country say that walk dogs in the country? Hi Georgia. Anybody that walks dogs in the country, around the fields, up around the back roads, tractors everywhere, muck everywhere. The reason behind this video is because I want you to see what it is I would use to keep my dogs clean. I know it's very hard at this time of year, but if you've done it every maybe second week and give them a good bath in, or if you want, if you've got a poodle or something, you can do it every week if you want. But make sure you use a decent shampoo. Now today we're going to use um, Graminator. Graminator's double K. It will eliminate all that dirt out of the dogs. It will squeaky clean her coat. It is a fantastic product and I love it. We also have here another product it's called Foxy Poo. I'm going to use that as well because there is a fox's smell of poo off her and she is stinking. And she's stinking out my whole house because my dogs live in the house. So we are just going to bath her and go through what it is I do and how I do it. But this stuff here is brilliant. So if you have any dogs that you're out walking the fields or in the country or anywhere at all, even if you're out walking and your dog stinks and you can't get the smell out, this will eliminate the smell and it'll do the dog no harm. It is a brilliant shampoo. It's called Foxy Poo. See it? I love it. We also have another one here that's just as good as the Griminator. The Griminator is fantastic. I love it. I've been using it for years and years and years. But we also have the Groom Professional Dirty Dog. Dirty Dog is, is exactly the same. The dilution rates are completely different. The dilution rates for this here, I think it's 25 to 1, where the Griminator is 32 to 1. But it does exactly the same thing and it's a beautiful smell. So we're going to use these shampoos today to try and get Georgia cleaned. Now, a lot of people ask me what, how do I look after my um, little towels, you know, my little Grim Professional aqua mats. Well, as you can see, they're dropping me water. They lie in a wee basin of water all the time. With a little bit of this Hyper Cleanse Pro and it kills all germs and they smell beautiful and it is 100% safe on the dog's skin, coat. I actually use it everywhere in the salon. I actually use it in the back of my house where my dogs sleep and it eliminates the smell and it's blueberry smell. Beautiful, beautiful. But that is just something else I wanted to add on there. And the same for my scrunchies. When I use my scrunchies, I don't throw them out. I steep them in another basin of water with my Hyper Cleanse Pro. And that's it. Just rinse them before you use them and they're grand. So, getting down to business here. Washing the doggies. I hope you can see this. See the amount of, oh yeah, just put this down under the bath so you can actually see. I'm bringing these closer. Nick George. Out this morning, look. Twigs, sticks, half the forest, everything in her. No, everywhere. I'll be pulling these out for a week. But joys of having poodles and joys of having dogs that need walked every day, especially these big ones. The wee ones aren't as bad, but the big ones need walked every day.
as I showed you before, just a wee bit of shampoo in here and then a little bit of graminator. So 32 parts water in these wee bottles, one part shampoo. I love these wee small bottles here because it's easier to put it in. Shake it up and put it all in the dog. Especially on these palms, oh my God. They are rotting dirty. And you don't use that much, look. You still have a full bottle in there. Then get your wee loafers on there and give her a good screw up. Yeah, Georgia. Now there's plenty of coat here to wash, I can tell you. Poodles. Her coat is like a roll pad. Right, so now I'm gonna use a wee bit of Foxy Poo. As I showed you how to mix it there in the last video. Um, this stuff's amazing, it takes away the smell. If you've been out running the fields and the dog, like you, like Georgia here, loves, loves, loves Fox's Poo. Rolled in it. We were out this morning. So her first wash was in Griminator, her second wash is in Foxy Poo, and that should be her squeaky clean. Well, if I was doing something with her for a competition or if I was going to be prepping her coat, then I would prep it for a full week, once every second day, as in bathing every second day, in this bright white shampoo. Fantastic, it'll lighten her coat because she's very creamy. But for everyday bathing, it's the Foxy Poo and the Griminator or the Dirty Dog. Them three is what I use. At this time of year, it's the best shampoos because it'll, it'll just, it'll just clean that coat. Crisp, clean, and that's what you want. Look at the amount of lather coming off it. It's brilliant stuff. This is the Foxy Poo I'm using at the minute. As I said, two minutes ago. Well. If your dog has skin conditions, um, I always use aloe vera. Aloe Wonder shampoo, or I use Hypoallergenic from Double K. Any of those two shampoos, they will do the dog's coat wonders if you've got any skin conditions. So be very careful that you don't use 
the likes of Grime and Eater and something on it, but for your dog, if there's nothing wrong with it, like her, and she's out in them fields and out in the forest, as they do, standard poodles, you have to take them out or they go stir crazy. So, this is what we wash them in. Good gear. Can you turn around now again? Turn around. Georgia. Let me see, this is the second wash. We see the dirt coming off again. First one was done in the Griminator, this one's done in Foxy Poo. A lot of people say to me about washing the dogs, oh they only need one wash if you use scrim in it or if you use this, if you use that. No, no, no. That's not true. All dogs, unless you're washing them every week, yes maybe. But if you're not washing them for every six weeks, they need two shampoos. The first shampoo penetrates the coat, gets the dirt out of the coat. The second shampoo cleans the hair and leaves it squeaky clean. Do not just do one shampoo thinking that's okay. It's not okay. If you went to the hairdressers or the barbers, the neighbor washing your hair, they do it twice. They get the dirt out first and then they get the, they degrease your hair then the second time before they cut it and leave it squeaky clean. That's exactly the same as a dog. Exactly the same. So guys, one shampoo's never enough. Unless you're doing it every week and it's a show dog or something and it's on and you can say, oh, one shampoo it hasn't been dirty, it hasn't been out of the house. That's fine, it has to be done every week, but not every six weeks. Sometimes when my students are here and I give them a dog and they wash it twice and then I go back over and check it and I still feel gritty in the coat because the dog's been out run, running the fields and it's been all over bog and dirty. I make them wash it three times. So there's no harm. I'm using a wee bit of shampoo. And them dogs go out nice, squeaky clean. Customers are very happy. And that was the Foxy Poo shampoo we used there. You want to smell this stuff, it's beautiful. And it eliminates all the smells. You can use it even if they don't roll in Fox's Poo, you can use it anyway. It is fabulous stuff. What did I just show you? My bath, the dirt again. You see it? Look. And that's the second wash. So one wash is never enough. And that goes for all you groomers out there that think one wash is. One wash is never enough. This is the second wash and there's to prove it. First one was Grime in second one's Foxy Poo. And that's to prove that you need to do two washes. The dirt that is coming off this dog for the second time is unreal. Look, just to let you see, to all these groomers out there, one wash is never enough. There's the second wash and look at the dirt. See? More sticks.
Mike. Now that Georgia is washed, we are going to blast her coat. The blaster I would choose is the Meteor Master Blaster. It's an Air Force blaster. It's fantastic, very noisy. So turn your volume down, please. But just see how good it is in this coat. Just blast out that coat.